Good morning. It's Saturday morning, February the 13th, 2021. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and it's a joy to be able to share with you thoughts from the Word of God again today. Yesterday, we began Matthew chapter 23, and we continue in that text this morning as we talk about and consider for a few moments the principle of appearances. Appearances can be deceiving, and what somebody seems to be is not necessarily what they are. We'll read a few verses beginning in verse 4, where the Bible says, For they, these are the Pharisees, the scribes and the Pharisees, that Jesus is talking about, they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne, and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. Verse 5 says, but all their works they do for to be seen of men. They make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments. And verses 4 and 5 are the two verses that we're going to think about for the next few moments today. And the Bible says that these people pretended to be really concerned for others, but they wouldn't, in, the, in a pinch, they would actually not reach forward at all to help those who are bearing heavy burdens. And the Lord said they make broad their phylacteries. The phylactery was a prayer box that was tied around the forehead with a ribbon or a string of some kind. And the larger box you had tied to your forehead, the more of a praying person you were because your prayers were written and placed into that box. If you had just a small phylactery, well, then you wouldn't necessarily be considered a very spiritual person. But if you had a large one, it would indicate that you did a lot of praying. And so the Bible says, Jesus said, they make, they make broad their phylacteries. They increase the size of these prayer boxes and tie them on their heads so that they can appear to be very, very spiritual. Oh, that person must pray a lot because he's got such a big phylactery on his forehead. Jesus spoke of this sort of thing in Matthew chapter 6 about people who pray with swelling speech in public settings. They're doing it to be seen of men, and Jesus said they have their reward. And he spoke the same thing about those who give alms and those who fast. They do these things in, in the public eye to be seen of men. And the Lord said, verily, they have their reward. And Jesus said, it's just hypocrisy if somebody's doing something of a spiritual character or what's thought to be spiritual in character, just simply to be seen by other people, that is hypocrisy. And they're lifting themselves up instead of desiring to lift the Lord up. And when Christ said they won't even help anybody to bear their heavy burdens, you could tell right away these people are not really genuine. They're not really sincere in their desire to be a blessing to others. They're only in it for themselves. And Christ condemned this sort of thing and said a little bit later in the chapter, this is hypocrisy. To be seen of men is not the key, but what does God really think about who and what we are? And people will see it and people will observe and testimony is important. However, the most important thing is what God knows is real and genuine. And it's so important for someone who loves the Lord, who wants to please the Lord, to be real and genuine in what they do. Is this what Jesus Christ would do? Is this what is godly to do? Is this something that God will take note of? Will God recognize this as being real and true and genuine in my life? Or is it something I'm only doing to be seen of men and, and like dressing myself up to be very pious looking? for the purpose of gaining the respect and the applause of other people. That's not real spirituality. Be right with the Lord and be the kind of person that he wants you to be, not the kind of person that you would expect others would be gratified to see. Just be real, be genuine, and be committed specifically, personally, in your heart to the Lord. God bless you today.